Wrong side. <laughs> but my, this is my C hand in my left hand. This is my C for double seconds player. My C is here. My D is on my left side here. My E is on my left side here. Right? Right? My, my F is on my right side. This is my right hand. This is my G on my right side. This is my A on my right side. This is my B on my right side. This is my C. Right? Now, now, to find your, find your, your note, you say a whole note. C to D a whole note. D to E a whole note. E to F is a whole note. E to E, sorry, sorry, C, C, E to F is a half a note. F to G is a whole note. G to A is a whole note or a tone. A to B is a whole note or a tone. B to C is a half note or a semitone. So, whole note, whole note. Whole half note, whole note, whole note, whole note, semitone. Okay, half note. Right now we did that. Now then we go along to finding each um, each note on the scale have a name, have a chord that goes with it. Okay, so C have a C major chord. Then E have a then D have a D minor chord. Right. Then E have an E minor chord. Right? Then F have an F major chord. Right? Then G have a G major chord. Then A have an A minor chord. Then B have a diminished chord. Then back to C. Now, within that, now, how to find those chords? That's what we. That's what I taught. I taught you all the last time. How we find those chords? We go from C and we skip every other note. Yes, your first chord is C. Play the C major scale. C major scale and can skip every other note. Right. So C and skip every other note. We did that and you find your first scale. You find your first C major C major chord. Then you do that for, from the D. Then you do, go to the next note, which is the D, but what you do with the D, you play the same C major scale, but you start it from D. Right? And that is called, the first one from C, the, 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 the Greek word for that, the Greek name for that is an Ionian mode, okay? The Greek name for that is Ionian. You should have your pen and write down Ionian mode. The second word, the second one, which is, is from, from, from D, Right? You play the same C major scale, but you start from D. That is a Dorian mode, okay? And mode, and when you're soloing, most of the guys when you're soloing, they just moves you're taking it in. So this is coming handy for you guys who, who want to solo and stuff. This is just moves. This different moves guys use when they're soloing. You could be playing in C and go from the door and use the Dorian mode. And you could use the, 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 the other one, which is Fijian. The one one is the third note, is E. Which is Fijian, F H Y G I A N, Fijian, Fijian mode. I mean, and this class here today is for intermediate students. Okay, you must learn. You know, know your notes and know your chords. This is not for beginners. This is for intermediate, and not for professionals. You professionals, please do not watch this. It will confuse you. Some of y'all might know what I'm talking about. Just if you have a good input, you can send me your comments. Okay. Now again, uh, Fijian. Then the F. Major F F F major. That's on the that's on the that's on the fourth. It's Lydian, Lydian mode. Then the fifth, which is the G, 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 G major scale, which is the Mixolydian, Mixolydian. Right. Then you go to the the sixth, which is the A minor scale. The name for that is Aeolian, okay? Aeolian mode. Aeolian. Aeolian mode. And then the last one, which is the B diminish. Which is Locrian mode. Locrian. Locrian. L-O-C-R-I-A-N. So we have the Ionian, which is the C. The Dorian, which is the D. D minor. 
the Fagial, which is the E, e minor, the Lydian, which is the F major, the Mixolydian, which is the G major, the Aeolian, which is the A minor. And the Locrian, which is the B diminished. Then back to the C. And remember C, there's my left hand here, okay? C. My left hand, C. Right hand, G. Right? Now, we did all that. Now, we did all that to come to this mood now. Now, I'm going to show you what you do with those chords, okay? Um, what you do with those chords, how you break, how you use these chords and them. And you can take this to any scale that you want. Okay, guys, this program is going to stay on YouTube for a while. I'm going to take it down after a while. Then I'm going to do a fresh one again. I'm going to do an official video. Then I'm going to show you guys all this thing. But I'm just showing you guys who want, who, want me, who want to learn right now. I will show you a little trick today that you can take and carry anywhere. Learn anything. Now, you see, is your one, okay? You got to start counting your notes. Your one, your one, your, your two is your D. Your three is your E, your F is your four, your G is your five, your A is your six, your B is your seven, and back to your C. And each one of those have a chord, right? So your first chord is C, major, D minor, E minor on the on the third, F major on the fourth, G ma G major on the fifth. A minor on the sixth, then B, B, B diminished on the seventh. Now, there's something we call primary chords and secondary chords. Now, primary chords is your main chords, your prime minister, the, the, the main chord you use in anything. That, that, those, there's some chords you play in C, there's some chords that you have, you must play, you will play, you will encounter these chords most of the time. 99.9% .9 of the time you will encounter these chords in them, unless they're doing some kind of inversions. The first note on your scale, and your C major, whatever major scale you're playing, that's your primary, that's your first primary chord. Your C major scale, in your C, scale, in your C chord, your first, is your first primary chord, which you C. Right? Primary, the primary chords fall on the one, that's where you have to come, the one, the four, and the five. Your primary chords fall on the one, the four, and the five. So your primary chords go be C, right? D is your two, E is your three, so your four go be five, go be F, okay? So your second primary chord go be F. And after four is five. After your third primary chord will be G. So your three primary chords in your major scale is your one, your four, and your five. So you see, C major, F my F major, then G major. That's your one. That's your two. You go back down. So that's it. That's your what? Do a whole song, right? Those three chords and them, my friend. Those three major notes in any scale. 
You can use that in any scale and play a song. It goes song more nursery rhymes until you start to use your secondary chords. They were your secondary chords coming up. Now you use that for your primary chords. Now you go and find your secondary chords. What is your secondary chords? Well, because that is not major, okay? If you, you might all this this only major chord you see C major, F major, G major. The one, the four, and the five. Right now, the one that is not major could be minor, D minor. Remember your D minor, your, your number two, your E minor number three, your A minor number six, and your B diminished number number seven. Those are your secondary chords. Those chords back up each one of those major chords. Have a friend, have a cousin, a relative to those minor chords. Okay, each one of those have a have a, have a relative to each one of those minor chords. Each, you see, like you see, the C and its relative is just one note different in it. Okay, guys. So if you have C major, yeah, one you just change one note in the C major scale. C. Change one note and make it A. A, C, E. What? C, E, G, A, C, E. C, E, G, A, C, E. Two of them is relative. So, you, instead of playing the, that's, 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 that's the, that's the, that's the, primary. This is the primary. C is the primary. A is the secondary. C is the primary chord for C. A is the secondary chord for A. For A is the secondary. So A and C match up together. Okay? A and C. The, the secondary chord for A is C. C minor. The secondary chord for A minor is C minor. So in a song, you can play A, you can play C, and you can you can substitute that song the next time you come around instead of playing A again. Instead of playing C again, you play C minor, A minor. Okay? Instead of playing, that's a secret. You, they, they, they will teach you these things. I'm teaching you shortcuts. Okay, this one teaching you secrets. That's why my program is called Teaching You Secrets and Shortcuts. If it's working for you, run with it. Okay, guys. If it's not working for you, turn the tape off. Okay. Now, C and A minor is relative. A minor is the relative minor of C. Okay. Right. So two of them can. Two of them as partners, two of them can live together, right? Next one now, the F. The next primary chord will be F. Right? F is C. So another way to find that is to use is to is another you, you can do another way too. You can you can take take the um, the F and go. You can go two notes back. Get okay? two notes back. Two notes back of F. You reverse it two notes back and you find the, the relative. Okay? You, you're finding the relative. You're finding the, 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 the cousin to, to F. So before A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F. D, E, F. D, E, F. So, so F and D is relative. So it's only one note different between F and D. F, A, C, D, F, A, F, A, F, A, C. And D F A, same note. So the relative minor to F is D. You see the D minor and the F. So the C. So the C. A. And the F. And the D. Come on, this That's all like a song, right? And then you go to the next one, which is G. G, relative, the relative to G. If the secrets are given you, secrets, they can make you a better player. Listen to me. The G. What, what is, which two notes back from G? Two notes back from G is what? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So the B, the G, the G, you go, you go two notes back from G, 
right? That's A and B. G A B. So that the relative for that for that G B. B. So the between B and G is one note different. The one note different is the F. So the G G A B C and the B diminished. So that G that that B, B diminished can substitute, substitute as the G for the G. Right? So so you're, you're gonna say B, you're gonna say B, but you're gonna change the B. You're gonna change the B uh, one note in the D, okay? Because that D is a really really a um, um, really a uh, a dominant. G dominant. Or you do use the E. Right? E F G. Right? You use you go back and use the E. The E is really the note, you're really the, the, the relative for that. That's my message. So you gotta say you gotta go backwards. You gotta go backwards. So A B C D E F G. So the E is really relative. E minor and G minor are relative. E minor. So there's one no difference, okay? That was my mistake there, but you, you got what I mean, right? You can understand what I mean by there, okay? Now, the C and the A is relative, one no different. The F and the D is a relative, one no different. The G and the E, the one no difference, relatives. There you go. And that's how you find all your music. Sometimes you wanna play, you wanna play the C. So, so, so if you see, use the A. Use the A. singing mood today <laughs> but that, that, you understand what i'm talking about right guys so that is what it's more about that is what it's about so you take that and take it to any scale any chord and there you go you find all your primary chords and your secondary chords primary chords are used mostly in the song secondary chords are like the first the decorations so even when you're soloing and stuff you're trying to solo you can do that too okay you don't have to play the c all the time you can play the a minor you don't have to play the F all the time, you can play the D major, D minor. You don't have to play the G all the time, you can play the E minor. Okay? That's it. That's the secret. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this training today. God bless. And we will talk soon, okay? So let's see sample. Signing out.